So Star Wars fans, uh, Disney Plus specifically with all these Star Wars TV shows, they're, uh, well, some are, some are mourning the fact others don't care or celebrating that the Acolyte is now history. It's not going to be renewed for a second season, which is really interesting too, because I, I watched the pilot and it, it just didn't impress me. Really good action. I love Carrie Ann Moss. If you guys ever saw, never saw um, Jessica Jones, Marvel uh, show, you know, Disney Plus, it is great. That show is awesome. Carrie Ann Plus is one of the reasons. Carrie Ann Plus. Carrie Ann Moss. Carrie Ann Moss is one of the reasons it's so good. But I just didn't take to the show. It was kind of muddled. Um, it was sort of divided. A lot of people, even fans, are saying that it was there was too many things going on, too much stuff introduced, you know, too many characters introduced. You look at one of my favorites, uh, Deep Space Nine, Star Trek. I, I wrote an episode. I wrote for Deep Space Nine. It, it, that was an incredible, uh, you know, complex show, and they they married all these different storyline threads and characters. But in the beginning, it was you know basically. Captain Cisco, or at that point, Commander Cisco, you know, with his son Jake, and it, it built slowly, and then we got all these other characters. With something like the Acolyte, I think people off the right off the bat said, you you just gave us too much, because I guess the logic was to rely on the second season. You know, we're going we're gonna to bring it all together with another season, which didn't happen. Now, what's really interesting is this is over at Forbes, they're talking about uh, the Acolyte being deleted entirely um, off the platform. And there is precedence for this. There is definitely a precedent. Um, it says that what had happened, of course, w with another show was Willow. This was a show no one watched or very little, and they never gave it, gave it any other seasons. And th then they deleted it from the platform. And this is what the LA Times says. In response to that, quote, in other words, Disney had to pay the residual costs of Willow based on how many subscribers the platform had, regardless of how many people were watching the show. Higher residual rates in the new deal that the Writers Guild of America just negotiated probably accelerated streamers' decisions to drop shows. You get it? So now they don't have to pay the writers, the directors, the producers, the actors if they delete it from the, from the platform. You're never going to see Willow again. You can't buy it, I guess, nothing. And now with the Acolyte, it seems to be the same strategy. Take it away. No one really kind of watched it anyway. It was, I think, the lowest ratings in history or, or close. And, you know, there was a fan base, but not enough to justify a season two. So why keep it up there? Because then, you know, every time, you know, uh, residuals have to be calculated, they send it off and it's it's like a loss because it's so low. So we'll see. I don't know. Um, Skeleton Crew, that's the next show coming on Disney Plus, next Star Wars show. Uh, Jude Law, sort of mostly for kids, I guess a mostly kid cast, or they're almost comparing it to like Star Wars uh, Goonies, like a Goonies for Star Wars. That drops in December around Christmas. Looks pretty good. We'll see. I think another reason, and I talked to all my friends and people that love these shows, there's too many. They just keep churning out this stuff. One way, hey, you know, but it's become, it doesn't become special anymore. It's nothing to truly say, wow, here's, you know, something coming uh, that we have to wait for. And no, it's n another three months, another four months. So we'll see. Saturation, too much, overexposure, or just bad uh, storytelling. What do you think? Hope you're enjoying. Hope you're subscribing. See you soon.